Now, can yeah. you give me uh, some tips on directing actors? Because I think filmmakers in general, uh, actors are, are like they only fo- they only focus on the gear. They only focus on on lenses and and light and all lights and all that kind of stuff. And they and they and then if you're lucky, they fo- also focus on story. Sure. But the actor is this kind of almost yeah. mythical thing for especially for fir- you know first time filmmakers and people starting out. They're very intimidated. They speak another language. I mean, they sure, can, sure. they speak another. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Awesome. Well, first of all, I think uh, don't be frightened of it. Um, <laughs> I think it's it's listen to them because I've seen a lot of a lot of directors on set talking at length to the actor. Uh, on this is covers a kind of various uh, layers here. Um, one is telling them what they want, and then basically you haven't given the actor the opportunity to present what they prepared because you might spend ten minutes saying, oh, "Look, actor, I want you to do this, this, and this," and that was exactly what they were going to do. So you've now just killed ten minutes, and also you haven't trusted the actor to go, "Well, this is what I prepared." So take one should be, "Well, show me what you've got," and you go, "Hey, brilliant, let's shoot," or tweak here and there. Um, and intellectual chit chat is a big thing. Like, it should always be about what the behavior you want from the actor, not talking about what they had for breakfast, what the meaning of that tie is. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and there's a wonderful quote that I used in my first book from a book called uh, A Sense of Direction by a, a director called William Ball. Mm-hmm. And he would say to the, the actor, if they started getting into an intellectual discussion, about what the character means by this and what that represents, just say to them, show me, show me what you mean. And that would probably stop the conversation because there's no way of performing the action and saying the line that can demonstrate what they're saying because it's all intellectual. There's no behavior component to that. Um, So it all has to be about the behavior. If there's a behavioral change behind your direction, then it's good direction. If your behavior doesn't change, then what are you talking about? Um, and direction should be about 10 seconds long. Mm-hmm. If it's anything over 10 seconds, you've got a problem because you need to talk at length about something that should have been talked about in rehearsal, should have been discussed on the phone before you went to set or whenever you have the chance to talk to the actor. So it's one of those things where you just need to nudge them either way rather than say, right, let's take this whole scene apart and the whole character apart and let's discuss you know, you know what the scene's about, and you're just wasting time. You're wasting daylight, uh, or film, burning film, <laughs> whatever. It might be. Um, yeah. No, I, I actually I had the I had the um, pleasure to interview Robert Forrester. Um, right. Uh, and he was in Tarantino's Jackie Brown, among a billion other things he's done in his career. He's an amazing actor, and I at the time I was just like, can you give me the best direction Tarantino ever gave you? And he said, "The best I've, I've I've worked with a lot of directors, Alex, and the best direction I've ever heard was from Quentin when he said to me, he would whisper it right before the take, right before he yell action. He goes, make me believe it.' Right. And that was that was it. That was okay. it. That was it. I was like, wow, that's that's a really good. I mean, you've really got to trust your actor. And sure. and, and of course, the, the caliber of actors he works with. You know, when Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio are on set, you pretty much just you know." Let them do it. <laughs> yeah, let them do it. 